Well, some of the hottest new vehicles to hit the road in 2017 first made a stop at the LA Convention Center, and there was plenty of pizzazz to rev your engine. Gil Reyes reports from the LA Auto Show. Let's get the show on the road with some really hot cars. How about Hot Pink? The recently restored Panther Mobile is the official car from the 1970s Pink Panther cartoon show. It's one of the crowd pleasers. The boys love cars, so we decided to stop by. At the Los Angeles Auto Show at the Convention Center. The LA Auto Show, we've been around for 109 years, so to see that this is a, an ongoing popular show, especially here um, in downtown Los Angeles, is, is, is a big deal for us. More than 50 vehicles debuted including the world premiere of four executive class Porsche Panameras. Expect more horsepower and performance than previous Panameras from Germany. We sell about uh, one quarter, just under one quarter of all of our cars in the United States and California, and LA is also a very strong sales region, so it means a lot for us to be well represented here. Also unveiled for the first time in this or any other galaxy, limited edition Nissan Rogue One SUVs. Only 5,400 were built as promotions for the newest Star Wars movie. For practical driving, industry experts say fuel-efficient SUVs are in, luxury sedans are out. Mercedes, Chevrolet, Volvo and Nissan also saw world premieres in Los Angeles. And one space was even reserved for something totally unexpected, the Irby, a lightweight folding electric scooter. The Irby helps people take public transportation who currently live perhaps a mile, two miles, or even three miles from the closest MTA or Metrolink stop. The Irby is approved to go on the MTA and the Metrolink, so we're really proud to be helping people take public transportation and save time and money getting to and from places. The Irby tops out at 15 miles per hour and can go 20 miles on a single charge. So what will the near future hold for the LA Auto Show? Autonomous vehicles, maybe? Industry experts have the wheels turning. At the LA Auto Show, I'm Gil Reyes for LA This Week. Now this year's auto show also saw the return of the Ride and Drive event. Fans were allowed to take test drives of nearly 100 brands of cars.